This is a National Pickling Cucumber. That's what they look like when they get fully ripe. I'm hoping it's fully ripe. It's still quite firm. Starting to soften up. I left two of these in the field and a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago now, I took one in and I didn't get any seeds that looked like they were full to me. So this one was in the cold frame. It's starting to dry out. It's cracked right there. So I'm going to cut this open. There's actually another long crack right there. And see what's inside. I have two knives there. I'll use this one to cut it in half this way. Right away the seeds there look better than the ones that were in the other uh, cucumber. But this flesh is still hard. So I assume it's supposed to be left quite a long time. I don't know. I'll have to do my research some more and find out just how long it takes for cucumber to ripen up. The seeds are looking. Uh, let's see if I can get you to see it there good now. Looking quite full now. In the other one, they were pretty much flattened still. I'll take my little knife. Let's see what we can find out here. I was watching a uh, one by M.I. Gardener and he could just take the cucumber and squish it like this and the seed would come out. Definitely wouldn't be able to do with this one now. I don't know what the variety of cucumber he had. That could have been just that variety. At least the seeds are looking nice in this one. And I'll dry them and then before it is necessary to have them in the spring, I'll have these tested to see what the germination rate is. There. Didn't think they'd do that. <laughs> That's how to get them out easy. Let's go with this one. Just look at that. So I could probably. No, see, it's still too hard to do it with just the whole cucumber. I'll split it down. Yes, they pop out nice and easy.
Ooh, one in the lane. That was a house fly that caught among the eggs. The new chickens are laying eggs. And there's one that don't lay every day. When she does, she lays a double yolk. Now these here are from the older end, so they're bigger anyway. This is the size of eggs that the young ends are laying. But the one that don't lay every day always lays them like this. It's a double yolk every time. Well, there's a couple seeds left in there. Now, cucumber seeds have that gelatinous coating on them. They're looking wonderful. A bottle to put them in. I'm gonna get a bottle. <laughs> Better get that. Right, to wipe up the water as well. I'll let those ferment for a few days so that the coating will separate from them. Put them back there on top of the microwave and let them sit. In a few days time I'll get the rest of the coating off. So it's been four days since I put the cucumber seed in the bottle now. There's a bit of mold starting on top. I'll pick up the camera and turn it down so you can see that. Set you back down. So what I'm going to do now is fill the bottle up quite a ways put on the lid give it a good shake water's quite cloudy most of them has sunk again but there are some that are floating up here so I'll pour it off I think I want to pour it through this strainer because I want to put the floaties and the sludge in the compost afterwards Go again. I sped it up here to reduce the time of the video. You need to repeat this process of filling up the bottle and draining off the water and floating seeds until the water is clear and no more seeds are floating.
Okay. This is the sludge and uh, floaty that I got out. I'll drop that in the compost here now. As much as wood come out that is. So now I want to put in a bit of extra water and make sure they all come out. There. Now that's some nice looking seed. Quite a few seed for planting next year. I can have 100 plants and just plant them around the property and see where they grow best. It's another thing about when you're trying to discover how gardening works in your own area like I am. Um, then you need to experiment because I'm in a unique part of the world. When you look at the gardening magazines you've got to always modify things for where I am. And so with doing this I'm going to have extra plants started in my sunroom and then I'll plant them in area 2 and area 3 different shady areas sandy areas um, close to the bog far away from the bog see what becomes of it and see where they grow best so this is first generation Newfoundland grown Chicago pickling cucumber seed <laughs> 